everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be making a road, a maintenance road to be specific. If you look in the inset picture there, that's sort of what we're going to be going for. This allows, you know, the maintenance workers to get access to the tracks. So I've already made the road, uh, base that is, and you can see I've laid some gravel down the middle and some thicker gravel around the edges as well, just to help delineate the, uh, the tire tracks. It's basically just Mod Podge with gravel sprinkled into it. So we're also going to need some static grass applicator and some static grass to get started today. So let's clean up a little bit and lay down some paper towel to keep the grass from getting all over the tracks and we'll get rolling. So what I'm going to do here is uh, fill up my hopper with some four millimeter straw colored grass. Now this is Woodland Scenic static grass. I'll speed this footage up so it's doesn't take forever today. And I'm gonna lay down some Mod Podge right where I want my uh, little grass tufts to go. I like to do a strip down the middle. This kind of is where the tires don't go on the trucks as they go down the road. And this allows the grass to grow nicely. So we'll just put the Mod Podge where we like it. Now Mod Podge is great because it dries matte and it dries really quick. So you gotta work fast when you're doing this. and now to lay down some static grass using the static grass applicator. So what you see me doing here is doing little circles of glue where I'd like to see some grass tufts. You can make grass tufts separately on like a baking sheet and then glue them in after. But I like the look when you do them right on the layout itself. It makes them more of an integrated feel and they look like they're growing right out of the rocks. So what you do is you just do some random spots and um, I'm gonna come back and do another type of grass after this. So I'm not really looking to fill the whole area in necessarily. And working in a small area at a time, I now add some static grass to the area here. I'm also going to do some different colors, so this is going to be a bit of uh, medium green as well. It's important to add lots of color to your grass work and your scenery work. The scenery I find looks best when it has lots of texture and lots of color, just like with nature. So now we're gonna pull up the paper towel, dump all the grass into the road there, and then I'll just vacuum it all up from one spot. So what I like to do is put a stocking over the vacuum. And um, what this does is as you vacuum up, it recovers a lot of the leftover static grass. You can reuse it in, in another application. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm starting to realize like, wow, it's just really, it's really sucking up really good. And normally when you put a stocking over the end, you can only suck up a little bit and then you have to stop and empty it and stop and empty it and so on. But this was just going really skookum and I was just getting it done real quick. And then I uh, turned the vacuum cleaner off and I had a look and there was nothing left inside the stocking i guess it had a hole in it or whatever and um it just uh didn't collect any of it so i lost all of that static grass that you saw there yeah there it is just empty stocking totally useless so now i'm gonna add some little bushes so these are a little again a little bit different they're um basically woodland scenics uh foliage and I'm just gonna stick it little pieces down here and there. And again, it adds a little bit of color 
and it also adds a bit of uh, a different texture, something other than just grass. So again, just random placement here. I like to vary where they go, balance the colors out a little bit to get some dark green in with your light greens, etc. And it's mainly just looking and just seeing where you think things might go. Um, sometimes I've pulled things up and just redone it all together because I didn't like the way it looked. But once we get this all sort of glued in, we will move on to the uh, next step. So now that it's had a chance to dry, I'm going to add some uh, paper dowels down here again. And now we're gonna do a different color and size and style of uh, static grass tufts here. So again, I'm just putting some down the middle. And I'm also gonna end up putting some down around the edges a little bit too, just to narrow the roadways look a little bit. So again, we'll just do some more clumps here. And uh, again, you know, you're gonna wanna work quick. The Mod Podge does uh, dry pretty quick. And uh, again, you know, when doing this scenery, it's really layer after layer after layer and a lot of time spent waiting for glue to dry. But Mod Podge, at least, you know, you can probably do these steps within 20 minutes. So here we go. Now let's add the color. So this is the darker green. Again, this is more of a uh, Woodland Scenics uh, medium green, four millimeter length. And what this is gonna do is just give us some of the bright green grass in amongst all the uh, straw colored grass. So now we'll vacuum it up. This time I got the stocking working correctly. You can see it's a little bit of a slower go. And I've had to have to stick it in and empty it at some point here. And now the next step we're gonna do is do a get different length of grass again. In this case, I'm going to be going to a seven millimeter length straw colored grass. And I'll be putting this all up and down the sides of the roads and just kind of helping define the edges and borders of the road and just adding again, a different length and a different texture. In fact, I'm going to come back afterwards and paint some of this grass, just a slightly different shade. And you'll see that shortly. So now I'm applying the seven millimeter static grass. Again, this is straw colored Woodland Scenics brand. And now after having vacuumed all that up, I am going to do a little bit of painting. So here, this is a little bit of uh, blue, and I'm gonna use this to, pale blue, I'm gonna use this to um, give the straw color a little bit of accent so that it looks a little bit like sagebrush. Um, so this is more of a dry brushing technique, and it's very subtle. And you can just start to see the, the color changing just a little bit here. Now, like I said, it is subtle, and, but what it does is it just gives it, again, just more variety, more color, and more texture to the scenery. You also notice I've stuck some more uh, ground foam in off camera there to make uh, some more bushes and again, just adding some more color. Now I'm gonna use a second color as well. So this is an earth brown, dark earth, sorry. And um, it's from Vallejo, just like the last paint was. And again, it's more of a dry brushing technique. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna just, just tone down a little bit of that yellow in, in certain places to give it a little, bit of a dead grass look, but a browning dead grass look. And again, it's all for color and all for texture. 